Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to the Morning JP Show. I am your host, James Borman. <laughs> like to welcome you along on this Wednesday morning. Please do like, comment and share. Let me know that you've been through and you've watched. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about distraction. Now, if we look at distraction, every single one of us gets distracted in some way, shape or form. You only have to look at your daily habits by walking up the stairs, completely getting distracted in thought and forgetting why you went upstairs in the first place. You can only look at when you were about to go and play with the kids in the garden, and then your phone goes, or your email goes, you stop, look at your phone, and get completely immersed in that and forget what you were doing. We do it all of the time, and distractions are one of the biggest things that stop us from progressing from the way that we want to progress, living the life that we want to live, reaching the targets and the goals and the aspirations that we're trying to achieve. Distractions can come in the form of work, it can come in the form of relationships, and personal issues, it can come in the form of um, low mood, low self-esteem. I just kind of want to give you three tips that have really kind of stuck with me over the last couple of years in terms of managing that distraction. You know, one of the things I used to get so frustrated about myself was starting a job, getting distracted, leaving that job half done, going doing another job, getting that job half done, getting distracted and so on and so forth. And that would end up leaving so many different cups half full, whether it was a health goal, whether it was something in my own business, whether it's something in my relationship or my own personal development. It really frustrated me. So I set these kind of three rules or three tips, if you like. I, I use these as a guideline. So the first thing, the first one was really raising my self-awareness of the issue. Now, if you can find yourself your conscious mind and you recognize the fact that right now you're going you're getting distracted what are you doing in terms of you might be working on a project at work and decided to go and look on your Facebook page to look at a picture or comment that your wife's text you in to say oh check that out you then 20 minutes later are still rabbit holing down Facebook same with YouTube you might be getting distracted or recognize that you're getting distracted by a bad habit and it's stopping you from going to the gym or it's affecting your morning routine. But it's recognizing it, going, I'm getting distracted, taking a step back, pausing and going, refocus, bring yourself back, center yourself back to what you are trying to achieve. And over a period of time, what you end up doing is neurologically getting into the habit of breaking that cycle of getting distracted by just recognizing it because so many of us don't recognize it. We do it, then we've had the distraction, we've lost 20, 30, or a couple of gym sessions, and we say, oh, fucking hell, I'm always getting distracted. That brings low moods, low motivation, no inspiration to want to get up and own your life. All right, so that's a really important part, is reflecting. I want you to try it when you're at home. When you start doing something or you're f focusing on something and you're starting to get distracted, I want you to then go, dickhead, you are getting distracted. Pull yourself out of it. Second rule is creating rules. Now, in our society, rules create control. In your life, rules give you order, give you standards. They help you overcome the distractions. So I have rules that I kind of follow in everyday life. I've kind of got 10 rules. And a couple of those rules have been implemented and fitted into my daily rules to, be help, to help me control my distractions. One of those rules, I'll give you an example, is that my phone will go off only on airplane mode so only family can get through to me from half past five in the evening. Why? Because I do not want to be distracted from family time, from personal space, from space with my partner, from space with my kids, when it's dedicated time. Something I always used to do was my phone would go bing, 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 and I'd be like, trigger, action, reward, checking the message, okay? And that's the way that my circle used to work. And meanwhile, when the kids are going, dad, are you coming to play? Dad, are you coming to play? And from taking my first tip of raising my self-awareness, I implemented those rules. Rules create 
the standard of living that you're going to live. If you abide by those rules and you follow those rules, you're going to live a much more fulfilling life. You're going to achieve much more than you ever thought you could. But again, look at the problem areas that you have going on in your life. Look at the areas where you're getting most distracted and set your rules around those, t- around those problem areas. Okay? We have rules in our society around problem areas. That's why we put the rules in place. The third one won't be for everybody, but it has been massively beneficial for me, and that's meditation. I use an app in the morning called Calm. Meditation is really about focusing on one thing at a time, improving your concentration and focus levels. I've been doing it now for a year, almost non-stop. Although I'm not brilliant at it, some days I can't focus for, for shit on it, The large majority of the time, I'm battling in my own mind to focus on one thing at a time. And I have noticed the difference in my everyday life in terms of that focus on one thing, that focus on me, on that one particular thing rather than getting distracted. It will help. It takes time. I know it's not the manly thing, okay, but it is well worth investing in it. I think there's another one called Headspace. You could do follow the one on app, 10 minutes out of your day. Remember, small wins. If I've done 10 minutes every single day for the last two years, that's some big wins. That's some big conditioning neurologically to help you focus on one thing. Okay, you can slip in, this could easily slip into another um, presentation talking about managing your priorities and your time and your energy. Okay, so that actually you don't get too distracted, but we're going to save that for another time. So, in summary, We all get distracted, but there are ways that we can manage it. You can manage it by raising your self-awareness and catching yourself in the act of being distracted, putting yourself back and centering yourself. Number two is that you can set rules throughout your life, your day, to be able to manage and control the way that you live your life so that you make the gym, so that you make your workout, so that you make date night, so that you make time for your children. And the third one is introducing meditation to your life so that you can focus on that concentration, on those concentration levels. You can focus on what's important. You can focus on the task at hand. All right, guys, I hope that helps. I hope you have a great day. Looks like it's going to be a scorcher, stuck in in that home. Brilliant winner. All right, hope you're well. Take care. See you soon.